Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has finally released their result, their final uh, cutoff for CSIR December 2022, June 2023 exam. And all those who have qualified it, a big congratulations to you. Everyone who has qualified either JRF or LS, a big congratulations to you because you have worked hard for it. You deserve it, right? And you have done it. Uh, also those who have short, who were short of one marks or two marks, don't get disheartened you were almost there okay it was just the matter of luck i would say that you were not able to cross the cutoff but it doesn't mean that you don't have that potential okay you have all you were almost there right so today's video um, i don't know uh, whether this will make sense or not but i wanted to say and i wanted to speak about it i have talked about it earlier uh, when uh, form filling is done uh, when admit card comes I always try to emphasize this thing but I thought to make a dedicated video on it I just thought to be vocal about it okay uh, I am going to talk to especially to those who are giving this exam multiple times despite qualifying it okay I have seen people who have already qualified it's I'm not talking about those who have qualified LS and who are given this exam to qualify JRF I'm talking about those who have already qualified JRF still they have appeared again and they have they might have qualified or they might not have that is the second thing but just appearing in the exam if you have already qualified JRF uh, that is what I'm going to talk about okay see CSIR gives you this opportunity CSIR does not restrict you it does not say that if you have qualified JRF once you cannot give the exam another time okay they uh, they have they don't have any such restriction but uh, that's not good okay that's what i feel and i'll be talking about i'll talk i'll be talking my heart out okay over here see it happens when you qualify a particular exam uh it happens that yes if you are and you want to be in that field whether you are teaching or whether you are like uh you want to just check that whether whatever you have prepared earlier in the exam you have qualified it already whether that preparation is still with you whether you will be able to qualify or not so self-checking and all people have so many arguments about it okay i know but what exactly this jrf is okay what i understand with this particular exam this is conducted twice a year what exactly it is why it is conducted so what i believe this exam does not provide you job it does not provide you something uh, different than just making you eligible for applying as a phd scholar okay to apply for uh, research to apply as a phd scholar in various institutes iits isers uh, even you can apply with jrf in universities in csir labs all the places you become eligible like with csir jrf if you have a jrf you can apply anywhere in india and you can get uh, like uh, if you qualify the interview you will be getting a research scholar position and jrf means junior research fellowship that means you will be eligible to get a certain amount of money to carry out your research okay that's what i think that's what it means okay and second most important thing that rank does not matter over here whether you are all india rank 10 or whether you are all india rank 100 you will be getting similar amount of money you will be getting all the perks similar unless and until you are all india rank 1 or 2 in that case yeah, of course you become eligible to apply as a, as a uh, spm fellowship and those are the different things but if you are if you are in a rank 10 rank 20 rank 30 and you are rank 100 or rank 90 does not matter it is not gate exam okay in gate rank matters a lot gate score matters a lot but here in csr it does not matter just qualifying the, the exam is enough to get all the benefits to get all the perks of this particular exam now the thing is key if you are giving this exam okay i will first of all clarify a few things okay there are many teachers there are many youtubers along with me who give this exam okay we give the exam uh, to see the level of exam what type of questions are being asked so that we can discuss with you we can stay updated but but a very big but okay uh, i personally i don't mark answers in the exam because see i have already given the exam once i have qualified it once i am getting the benefit i have got all the benefits of it i have carried out my research and i have almost finished my research so basically whatever i wanted from this exam i have got it now just to prove myself again and again that whether i am capable of this exam or not okay 
and giving this exam with my full potential and trying to qualify it again and again to improve my rank to you know satisfy my myself my doubts i don't know there are many things okay but just for that i cannot sit in the exam uh, to do that okay i cannot compete with my students itself okay because like you all are studying you all are my students okay so i cannot i cannot compete with you guys understanding this that if i qualify i will be taking up a seat okay see there are limited number of jrf okay every year a certain number of people only get qualified for jrf uh, that number can be anywhere between like 4000 5000 okay it, it depends it varies every year but yeah it is almost over there okay i'm talking about all the subjects i'm talking about csr jrf ugc jrf all of them so if i take a seat over there and if i qualify it i'll be taking and i'll not be using that jrf right because i already am getting the benefit of that whatever i have qualified at my time i have done that okay so if i will qualify and if i take a seat basically i am obstructing a particular student i'm just like i'm just taking a seat of a student a particular student who was more uh, like the seat would have been more useful for him he would have qualified it he would have got this opportunity he would have carried out his research with this amount of money which he would have got so that jrf or that particular seat is occupied by me and i'm not even uh, like going to apply that okay or i'm not going to use that seat okay so this i i find this illogical okay to be very frank and i have always always emphasized on this thing uh, that please if you have qualified already if you have already qualified this exam don't sit for this exam okay because you have done your part okay you can go sit in the exam but don't mark the answers you can you can go and see okay if you if it is necessary for you to look upon the question level and all fine go and sit okay it is just a appeal okay i i am nobody to uh, like restrict you or i am nobody to stop you from this but look at it from a humanitarian uh, point of view look at it from a point of view that one when, when you have not qualified you are also eager to get it right now somebody else is also there and this basically this also affects the cut off see you have qualified the exam already you that means you are capable enough of qualifying it maybe many times okay as many times you will sit maybe and all the time you will be able to qualify it but you will be scoring certain marks and because of that overall cut off will also get affected right the averaging of overall students will be done so why to do that okay why to this is not fair with those people who are sitting for the exam or who have not qualified this or who who were like who are trying this for this exam for multiple times they are just missing it for few marks okay so i hope whatever i am saying is making sense i don't know uh, probably i might offend few people okay but uh, i just wanted to say my heart out and um, what you guys think about it do let me know in the comment sections okay because i want to know from you guys uh, what what are your opinion about it there are many counter of it okay uh, the first and the basic thing as i already said that csi does not restrict anybody so who am i to restrict see i am not restricting i am just asking as a request as a appeal that your participation in the exam and your participation in the competition since you have already done it so why to make it difficult for others okay this is this is not logical or this is not good remember the time when you were not able to like when you had not qualified and you wanted to get into it okay so just by remembering that time i guess you will not uh, make it uh, like you will not do this okay so if you have qualified exam this time if you have got jrf i'll not restrict you to sit in the exam next time but please think about it and like make it fair leave it for those who uh, like who are actually willing who are actually in need of this and please it's a appeal okay so you can share this video if you want to with other people as well and do let me know what your thoughts are uh, in the comment section below and that's all from my side okay i just wanted to say this i just wanted to make this video and i thought ki this is the time because the results are out uh, and those who have qualified especially if you have watched this video probably the next time you will think of this before applying for the exam okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care. Hello everyone. So if you are preparing for CSR net exam or gate exam and if you want to prepare along with me, then I teach on Unacademy Plus platform. You can join my classes over there.
for live sessions regarding CSR net exam as well as for gate exam. So if you are preparing for your exam and want to join some classes, An Academy is the best place where you can get all the live classes. Along with that, you will get recording of the classes. Plus, you will get a lot of practice sessions where you can practice questions. Along with that, you will also get access to notes where you can have short notes for your preparation and you can enhance your preparation with that, right? So in case if you are wondering where to take or from where to prepare for the upcoming exam, an academy is the place where you can go for it. So you can join an academy plus using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. Uh, the link is there in the description of this video. You can use that link to join an academy plus and watch all my classes live as well as recorded. Join an academy now and let's crack this exam together.